Hi guys, there are interviews and debates and there are resigning events. So when Boris Johnson back in 2019 won a massive majority on the back of getting Brexit done, he ushered into the House of Commons a class of politician who closer represents an angry person you find at your local pub than an honourable member representing their constituents. Leah Niki is one of those people. Here during a discussion with a Labour MP about Boris Johnson's decision to resign, which I always take with a pinch of salt, Leah really scraped the bottom of the barrel with her comments. And this is not just pathetic, but disgusting behaviour. You know, let's just be honest here. We talk about honesty and integrity. The deputy shadow leader decided it would be amusing to open her legs in the chamber and then brag to everybody that actually it was male members of the opposite party who had been looking at her and she was drinking on the terrace and laughing about it. I don't know what's more disappointing, Leah, listening to a fellow woman talk about another woman opening her legs in Parliament. Well, I didn't open, my, I didn't open my legs and then brag or about what, it. Like or what? Oh, the what about tree to actually try and take it away from the failure of this government, not just now, but for the last 12 years of austerity. The food banks have been increasing and it's become a food bank porn thing for these guys to have pictures with food banks and it's, a, it's absolutely disgusting graceful. So I don't know what disappoints me more actually. The misogyny that people like Angela Rayner have faced by parliamentarians in that space. You've, the sleeve. I think we should point out that Angela Rayner described those claims as uh, desperate smears and, and Boris Johnson himself uh, wrote to her and said the allegations weren't made in his name but let's uh, move on now shall we? Let's move on and kudos to well done to Naz Shah for, uh, for holding Leah to account here. The, this, uh, look, this is what the Tories do. They will throw everything against the wall hoping something will stick. And bringing up this thing about how Angela Rayner was opening her legs, this is disgusting behaviour. This is the sort of thing you'd hear about in a pub. This is not something for political debate between members of Parliament who are supposed to be representing constituents here. You know, like, how do you even respond to this? Talk like comparing, but not even comparing. There's nothing to compare here. Angela Rayner, and you can see the video yourself if you, if you want to look at it. She crossed her legs in the House of Commons, and the Tories tried to use this as a weapon against her. Now, why were they doing that? Well, because who does she debate? Dominic Raab who has wool between his ears. Dominic Raab is not capable of, of answering questions in the House of Commons, but he's also not capable of debating. Angela Rayner is formidable. Angela Rayner is able to attack. And instead of actually defending, what did the Tories do? They go on the attack, but attacking her appearance. I've seen clips online about how, oh, look at the way she's dressed, or look at the way she walks, or look at the way she holds herself attacking her physical appearance, attacking the way she dresses, not attacking her arguments. They never do that because they don't have a response. So they have to attack her as a woman. And the fact that you have a woman doing this is even more disgusting. But they have nothing, so they have to find something. She looks too good, or that she shouldn't be in the House of Commons. She dresses too well, or she shouldn't be in the House of Commons. She moves her legs, she shouldn't be in the House of Commons. You know, I don't even know how to respond to this. It's just beyond the pale. It's beyond disgusting. This Leah lady, she, why is she there? Why is she using this attack line? Doesn't she understand it herself that it's disgusting? Or has politics become so polarizing that you just throw whatever you can at the other side, hoping that it will stick? Boris Johnson resigned. He broke rules. He lied to Parliament. Angela Rayner, what has she done wrong? Crossed her legs or wore the wrong dress for Tory MPs, it seems. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.